everybody and happy new year from wherever you are watching us from it's grace here from kndm fans and i'm here to update you on this block that was affected by fusarium so initially we we shared we shared this block with french beans and they were all affected by fusarium now we did a crop rotation on maize and i'm going to update you on the progress welcome in our last video we discussed this block that was affected by fusarium and the challenges we faced with French beans. Fusarium is really a tough problem, but we have taken a big step forward. Um, so protection has quite many benefits, one of them being controlling fungus like fusarium, which, which is what we are doing right now. It also helps to boost the cell fertility and it can also reduce the need for chemical fertilizers. This is because when you allow the soil to replenish nutrients, then you don't need to add chemical fertilizers for you to get the, for you to boost the nutrients that you require in your soil. And crop rotation is a good it's a good practice if you are into sustainable farming because it ensures that you have good production year after year. So make sure that you're doing crop rotation in your farms because it is the way to go with sustainable farming. So this way, the maize will not cause the fusarium fungus and will help us break its cycle. As you can see, maize is resistant to fusarium and it, it does not encourage the spread of this disease. Now that we have done crop rotation, our next step is going to be to plowing. Once we harvest maize from this plot, we are going to approve the maize, then do a deep plow. Deep plowing is going to help us break the soil and expose whatever is left of the fusarium to the sun. So that is, that, that is going to be our step two of dealing with the fusarium. This is step one, making sure that we break the cycle and the maize is not costing any fusarium. Step two will be deep plowing and expose the soil to the sun and also be able to eliminate whatever is left of the fusarium. So you guys stay tuned. So you guys make sure that you stay tuned for more updates on this vlog until we successfully get rid of the fusarium. I'm dealing with the fusarium when, when we then plant French beans again, they'll be healthy and they'll be doing good. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure that you like and you subscribe so that you may continue to support our farming journey and you also continue to share tips and educative information about farming. Bye bye.